Two, one. Hello people of YouTube and welcome back to the channel and welcome back to again more uh, the Golf Club 2019. Uh, we're going to play the Scottsdale Desert Classic. Now this is the Pro-Am for pixelated golfers and it's this week's CC Dash, well I say CC Dash C but the Challenge Circuit uh, Tournament. Um, played a lot this weekend. Uh, didn't play well in picks with the golfers at the weekend to be honest um, I did play the um, Masters qualifying which kind of took a little bit out of me it was, it was quite it was quite tough quite quite a demanding course um, and I don't know I mean I'm not going to say that, that you can play too much but you can actually you can get to a stage where, you know, um, I was kind of late and getting, uh, I was I was actually late getting the round started because I did have a problem with my my mic. Uh, it wasn't, it just wasn't able to record. But that was actually a software issue with the uh, Mac OS X, where I had to actually uh, authorize the mic and webcam. So. I think when I updated my software, I missed that uh, sort of prompt that came up on the screen, and I just didn't know what was going on. But it was an easy fix in the end. But that kind of delayed me a little bit. Yeah, but eventually did get the. I did Hello get it working. And welcome to one and all. My name is John McCarthy. Uh, and I couldn't be happy. But it left a little bit of a kind of backlog in terms of uh, playing rounds, and I think I played three rounds of golf on Sunday, down. and I just didn't play team. well. Ugh, I just, it, it was almost. It was quite a difficult course that I played. Bandit Ridge. I thought it was a new course, but I'd actually played it in TGC tours previous. So this course, I don't think I've played. Um, this is a a new course, Copperhead Canyon. So let's go. This is my first round of the day, so this could be a little bit sketchy for the first few holes. Hopefully we don't derail, as they say. And all kinds of possibilities ahead here, folks. Looking but forward you, to it. I mean, I don't know about anybody else that plays this game. Um, I mean, I know some people do get burnt out. I don't get burnt out on the game as such. But there's some days... You know, I, I might only want to play like one or two rounds of golf and that's it. You know, I don't really want to play any more. Uh, and I think the, the more rounds you play, you just, I don't know, you're, you're off in a lot of areas, which is kind of annoying. Like 97, four up. I'm just going to leave that because it, it's downhill a little bit. I might even just touch a deal off to But you can't play too much. Looking good. And sometimes when things are off, and All right, it's and not, and this one, I mean, it's not really that you're playing bad. You just, you're maybe miscalculating shots. You're hitting it too long. You're, you're misreading putts. Just the simple things. Oh, well, these green speeds are fast. Oh, I thought that so that part there, that's a classic. Just, ne just never, and never enough to break. The par. Kind of disappointed because that was a good opportunity at the uh, uh, party there. And but this for me is, I mean, also I, I, I want to play well in my society, but essentially it's, and now um, to the second hole. it's just a case of, you know. Doing a, a, a little recce, a, a, a little uh, reconnaissance of, of the course, get to know it. Sometimes it doesn't really help, but oh, that's a difficult. Is that up any in the elevation terms? No, if any, it's actually down, so we'll put a little bit extra juice on this. Try and get it up and over that hill. And it sounded uh, sounded powerful off the club face. Oh, yeah, this that's, that's making days. that bit quite a quite a margin. So yeah, always always nice to play at a course that you've not played before. 
scoring wise, and I think I think a lot of people are shooting quite low. To go. So it kind of indicates that it's maybe easy in a sense. No, that's two, three, four. I don't. Mm, the wind's not full in my face, but uh, I don't know. This is a bit of an in between it. Two, two, seven. Do you know what? I'm going to hit this two, three, four. It looks like there's a little bit of a backstop. Mm. I'm going to put a little bit of height on it. But it's going to have the desired effect. Now this might be a bit too much club. I don't mind it running at the back there. As I say, there is a little bit of a hill. Oh, don't go down that other side. Yeah, keep coming back this way. Yeah, that's not too bad actually. Fantastic work I'll take on that. this par five, hitting the green in two. This one is uphill. We need to watch. T it's one of those in-between shots. I just want to get it judged. Semi decent. Turn a little, turn a little. Oh, just a little bit harder. Oh, I thought I'd actually put too much brake on that, but it, it turned a lot at, at the end. And now let's uh, take a look and see what's happening up. Gonna convert that, that for an easy birdie though. And one under for the day after that hole. So one under part. Guys, they're going pretty well through the, the early and stages of the course. Eight under par, hook. seven under par. It looks like a course that that's quite scorable. This is quite interesting. We're never going to reach that. I mean, it's forty nine foot up. Nah, I mean, even if we put a little bit extra heat on it, it's. I mean, how much is that going to go up? I mean, it's probably... I mean, we're going to be landing somewhere down here. Nah, I think we just basically... There's that uphill there. Mm. We'll probably just do our way up. Okay, that's not out of bounds. Mm, I don't know if we could get up over that rock, actually. Oh, it's tempting. It's kind of tempting, that, that angle. Yeah, I'm just going to go for that, actually. This could go wrong. If this hits this rock... Oh, easy. Well, so far so good for this There's one. There's always many different ways to play a course. If somebody puts it out of bounds, that would uh, stop that that style of play. But at the end of the day, five yard shot you know, the pin. I've got a level sort of wide. Maybe a little bit side hill, which is a little bit tricky, but side hill wins behind. So let's do the calculations first. Nine. I'm going to be about 97. Uphill a little. Um, that wind's going to take it a little bit as well. I think I'm going to hit this with a 94. I think. Slope, wind, all that jazz. It should be pretty decent. Oh, we're well shot. That's, yeah, okay. I'll make yours uphill. Oh, mm -mm. That yeah. couldn't have been the uh, intended result. That was the first kind of mental error. I was kind of thinking that was downhill. Uh, I just can't afford to do that, to be honest. I'll probably do the partial flop here. So we don't need to be too long. Oh, 
Oh, my. oh and she goes. Nice. Well, that makes up for the the misjudge in the approach play there. For the day. I don't know whether maybe taking that that side fairway is the best option there. Because the wise oh, a bit a bit squirrely. You might just be better playing it standard. If the wind's behind, there's there's maybe an outside chance of maybe getting near the green, but it's really hard to say. It's playing about 120. Wind's in her face, just ever slightly, it's not huge. I'm just going to off this up a little bit. It's got a little bit of draw in it, just to get it turning. Hold it against it, the wind. Oh, that's a nice shot. That'll do nice whip. That should, should be an easy birdie. This is about a four-footer. But yeah, Bandit Ridge was, it was a difficult course. When I played it in TGC yeah, Tours, I think we played pretty. it from the uh, the forward tees. Not so it's forward, okay. forward, and but certainly one, not from the back tees. Place. The back tees, it was very tough. The leaderboard. Long approach play, a lot of undulation. Um, just really, really difficult. Okay, let's see what the And I struggled. You know, I just, I, I, my game wasn't, I just wasn't really in the in the zone at all, and you get that with this game. You know, it's never. Oh, this is a, an interesting uh, hole. Do you know what? I'm actually gonna hit. I'm gonna hit my two wood. I'm gonna put a little bit extra on it. I think the driver's going to be way too much. Oh, that's going to get a funny bounce by the looks of it. Yeah. Maybe the driver would have been the best bet. But again, we've, we've actually got a decent sort of flop style shot here. Although, oh, it's a little bit difficult in terms of... It's about a 70% shot, basically. Um, trying to do a quick math calculation here. I'm going to play the 36. Maybe not going to play it full though. Maybe just a little bit shy of full. Go. Yeah, maybe just a little bit more. I didn't want to go full because I. I I had a funny feeling it was going to go too much. This one's a nine footer. No, oh, I didn't know it. Yep. Oh my gracious, that. I kind of felt I didn't close. hit it there, but yeah, I just didn't get the break at all. And that's went by yeah, a little bit. Five feet to go here. Those kind of yeah, puts are always difficult because you know there's quite a bit of break on it. Can be quite deceiving sometimes. Once you get your eye we're in, at, uh, uh, in puts like that, in you know you can actually that one. make the conversions. Yeah, but we find ourselves on the sixth hole tee off. It's quite a nice course so far. It's not too demanding. It's kind of gettable. There's the green there, that's a, that's a big, that's a big dog leg. I've got the three iron select, let's select the drive and see, see where we're going to be. I'm going to just fade this a little bit. Okay, we're gonna get a little help off the bank by the looks of it. We did hit it slow though. Kind of bails us out. It's like a cannon's off the side of the bank there, so it's not too bad. Okay, and 135 yards to the pin. Oh, it's a very short par five. Obviously, we cut the corner quite a lot. Downhill, seven off of that. It's going to be 128, wins marginal, 126, 
Denhill Soap. I think the one two two could be could be right. Come on, be good. Mm, it's not bad. Yeah, it comes in nice there. Very well played and hitting this par five and so two setting up birthday set chances up again. Nice this is a bit of a side hill why though. It's it's makeable, but it's not it's not the easiest. So uh, too, too much close. break in that one. You almost go from from one extreme to the other. You you kind of maybe and don't put enough break in it, and then the next putt you're overcompensating. Solid putt. And after that one, they'll stay right where they are in sixth place. Oh, that was a uh, that was for an eagle. Ah, see, I was thinking there was a par four there because we we only had 135 and yards to pin. With a par three hole. So that was actually a bird it which gets us to four under. Certainly interesting holes here. There's a lot of uh, it's not your kind of run of the mill standard golf course. So that's ten up. So that's putting it at least two, three, eight. So we get two, three, four there. So this might be too much club, but it's hard to say. A little bit to the right there. Oh, hit that bank. That could be good. Oh, absolutely perfect. That bank just killed the the momentum of the shot. Took all the pace out. Now of he's it. on the green. Time for putting. And this one's for birdie. Good chance here at birdie. Yeah, that one's there. Uh, right in the cup. Gets us to five under par. That one staying right there in sixth. So place. I can I can see why they're scoring on the TGC Tours website when I've checked the scores. I think there was somebody at 15 under par or something like that. So it's, it, it kind of makes next sense. On the plate is the eighth hole. To be honest, this course, really, we should be doing double digits, I think, easy. And we've missed a couple of chances as well. So, you know, we've had opportunities to actually get a little bit more under par. It's looking like it's heading into the fairway. Because there's quite a few courses that, that are quite demanding off the tee. Um, that, this one's not really been too demanding. Yeah, 105 yards to the pin quite open. Here. I mean, again, this is 105 yards. I mean, this should be all over it. I say should be all over it, but we should be getting this really close. This is like bread and butter shots for... for a golfer. And this one's looking pretty good. To be honest, we actually could have got that closer. And about nine feet to go here. So got a bit of an outside chance here. Oh, we just and made that. that. I thought I thought I'd actually missed that there. So six on the part through eight. Go, going well here. And on to the ninth hole. Oh, again, we've got another hole that's. I don't think it's reachable. We're just going to blast this up here. It's really a hole that you can put a little bit of extra sauce on it. Yeah, and if you do miss here. it, just ever so slightly, maybe tug it a, a little bit to the, the left or right, you've got space. So that should be up within a good flop distance. 34. I'm probably going to go with the 30 here, although... Yeah, maybe just de-loft it just a touch. Because the flop does run on a little bit. Ah, that's just, yeah. Oh, stay up. No. 
Again, that's a bit of a misjudgment. That really should have been absolute stone dead. In the worst case scenario, we didn't even make the top tier. That was a mistake. And this Probably should have went with the birdie. 36 flop and maybe just took a little bit off it. It's disappointing. That really is disappointing. Now we've now got a, quite a tricky putt. Okay, it's about 65. Let's try and get roughly get a line here. It breaks a little bit in the middle, but it does come back. I'm going to go just beyond the 45 power putt. Ooh, and just inches away from greatness. Well, that must have... Do you know what? Well, I'm going to have a replay of that part. because I think that caught the hole. Maybe I just get into my replay system. Because I think it, it either whipped out or... Right, let's see. Oh, camera. No, it's actually just really good pace. Yeah, okay. And about four feet from the cup. Finishing this hole with a solid putt. That that really is a, a drop stroke at that hole. And that should be a bump day every six day. Under for the day after that hole. <sighs> you really should have went with the other the club. It's easy saying that. Sometimes you think, well, if I can squeeze this and it can run a little bit. But it did pitch on the, the upslope probably, which kind of killed the shot and then the backspin. Or just the momentum and it went down the slope. Okay, pins over here. Quite an interesting layout design. It, it, it's... Should maybe squeeze this out a little bit. I don't think we're going to run out of fairway. It should be. Yeah, this maybe one's maybe close call. This could be in the rough. Uh, okay. I thought that was going to turn a little bit. Point one eight three. Mm. I'm going to play that. I'm going to put waft on it. It is uphill. Come on. Hit the bank. Kill it. Kill the shot. Kill the shot. Nah. It's not bad though. I'm probably going to have the option to put that. Which is probably what I'm going to do. Yeah, definitely put. Definite put. I'm going to have to hit this hard, I'll tell you. This is going to be a little tap. Even coming out that rough. Yeah, just didn't get the break again. Ah, it's kind of trickling on a little bit. Yeah, it's going to give us a, a quite an awkward uh, par save. And about 10 feet to go here. That wasn't a good putt, actually. We really should have been a little bit more cautious with that. This is missable. Yep. And that one Good putt, though. For par. <sighs> and uh, there's six under on the day. It keeps us six under hole. par. Again, we've lost a little bit of traction here. We've, okay, now we've kind of messed up in holes 11. that we really should have got about it. Again, the layout design is quite interesting. They've, they've really... It's not just your standard straight fairway. They've put a lot of variations in it, which I think is good because you can you can hit sort of different shots. Go with the drive here; it kind of tightens up a little bit. We get that little bit extra distance. Ooh, of course, probably could carry a little bit more there. Yeah, next I should have really checked to see if that was uphill or downhill to that point. Okay, another quite a short par, par, four, uh, par 5. 2 or 3, 26 up. So it's playing almost 214. I might play the 214. Maybe put a little bit of waft on it. 
Let's check the... Yeah, we'll just go with this. And here's a three it's iron. Came out a little bit to the right, which is kind of funny. Does hit that bank though. I think we'll probably be checking this one. Depends though, it, it's. Yeah, I'll check this. So, nine. Probably won't need to go quite full. Yeah, could have been a little bit harder. But it's there for a, a body chance, so. Like this one looks about uh, four feet. Oh, went the wrong way there. Easy yeah, body conversion. Which really it should be in a par five session when you get it close to and the green like that. Right there at sixth place in the standings after that hole. So seven under par. Going along nicely. And now we find ourselves on the twelfth. Twelfth hole. Looks like an interesting par three. Looks like it's going to be uphill a little bit. Six four thirty up, so it's putting almost thirteen up. So one seven seven to the pin. The wind's nominal; it's not really that much. Um, T box, T box is actually a little bit crooked, which kind of is disappointing. Probably going to go with that. I think that's going to be just a bit bang on. It looks like a seven iron. It's tracking. Just tracking. Get a good bounce. Get a good bounce. Yeah, pretty decent. Gives yeah, another chance at Bud it. And this for the birdie. Oh, it's just a wee bit of interest in the, the break there. Just enough to keep you guessing. Nice. And finishing this one with a good putt. Nice putt. So we're getting close to the, the double digit mark and we're only through 12 holes so we've still got quite, quite a number of holes to play. Par 4 hole. Par 4, let's just cut to the chase here. Mm. Pretty normal hole by the looks of it. Okay, this one's Has got a little bit of elevation change after the, the fairway there. from 115 yards out. Oh, this is again, it's in scoring. It's a scoring uh, golf course, this. Right, what have we got? 27, seven down, so it's gonna be about 109, that wind, 114. Okay, 114. Probably go 108, probably deal off that a little bit. Let's go. No, shots tracking. We've got the legs. This is heading towards oh, the green. Be good, be good. Nice. And about eight feet to the cup from here. Mm, just see, these are the pots that I can kind of misread. There's there's break, but it's not like it's not a huge amount. It's interesting. It's one of those putts where it's, it's just enough to kind of, you know. I'm going to go left edge. Well, maybe just a bit more. Yeah, it did break. Man, that one drops. I'm always worried about those putts because sometimes they can hang out a little bit. And look at the scorecard. There are quite a few birdies so on there. under part. And definitely this, one this of the trend going for here. Nine under on the scorecard. Hey, what have we got here? Looks like a quite a large fairway. Again, it's one of these designs where it's it's all split and separated, which is quite good. We got a fairway over there, maybe a different angle in. 
quite interesting because if you go that other side of the fairway there, uh, you can, by the looks of it, get a straight line into the pin. But it's only 472 yards and it is a par 5. Oh, squeezing a little bit out here. Um, what is that? Is that uphill or downhill? That's pretty level actually. Oh, there's a wee bit there. What was that? Plus 4, 308. We're going to be pretty close to that. What's that going to give us? 250. It's. I don't want the driver. We'll aim for that corner. Let's just go for it. Look at this if we run out of fairway, I don't. I just don't want a bad Y. That's the only thing. Oh yeah, it should be it should be good. It's one of those holes where you feel that you could run out of fairway with the driver. And about hundred and ninety. And then you may you may have a difficult eight. Y in the rough. One nine two. Basically it's I'm probably gonna hit this uphill a little bit. Should Going be a good club. The five iron here. And heading for the green. Oh, no. One soft, one soft, one soft. Maybe just a little bit long, but... Yep. Maybe should have clubbed down there. Okay, we do have... Do I fancy putting this? I think the putter would probably be the wise choice. It's downhill quite a bit. This is tricky because initially it's downhill, but really it's only the, the first couple of feet. Okay, I'm gonna maybe just be careful with this one. Ooh. Oh, that was close. It's not bad actually. It's a good attempt there. I mean, we this almost made the, the eagle. Should get the bird this nice pretty pot. easy. So that's going to take us to double digits, and ten under par. Right in fifth place after that hole. So we've still got a few holes to play, four holes. And the wind could but come enjoying the course, it's not one. too demanding. Let's see how this it's tee not shot your goes. Magnolia National, where almost every shot you've got to be really your your brain powers at, at max. So it's got a really gettable part. Oh my goodness. 130 foot down. That's. Oh, okay. Quite an interesting hole design here. Uh, I've got to do a quick mass here. 90, 120. So 120 is what? 40. 40 off. So it's about 43. So what we've got, 9, that's going to bring it to 203, 43, 200, 160, roughly. If we take, oh, look at that, tee box. Tee box is pretty bad. I'm not going to lie, that's not, that's not good. <laughs> that's downhill, so we're going to have to loft this up a little bit. These are always interesting holes. When it's with this, there's a lot of ele elevation change. Kind of a hit and a hope, in a way. A lot of hang time. I mean, at one point there, it actually looked as if it was going to be quite short. Or, oh, I thought <laughs> I thought that was going to just turn in. Uh, that, was, that was a good, that was a good, uh, good calculation there. He will be putting. Looking like nine feet to the cup. Okay, you got a makeable putt. It's level. There's a little bit of turn on it though. Oh, get in! Come on! Goes in for the bird. <sighs> and that hole is going to allow him to move up in the standings. So we're 11 under par. We're only two behind these guys at the top. The double Aussies. Mark River and... T3Z4R67. 
I just call him the the, the, next the, the, part the four, Australian folks. number dude. Sixteenth par four. Again, not really much to talk about here. Pretty much. Can kind of easy driving hole. Not a lot to it. Okay, and from 150 yards out. One five two. Six up. One one five eight. Wind's not really that much of an issue. Okay, I think the one sixty here. Maybe the one sixty. Aim it out a little bit. Maybe put a little. Just a little bit of deal off, maybe another little bit, because it is uphill. And here's an eight iron. It's not and bad, it's tracking. The green. It's quite a soapy green, so this is probably going to move a little bit. Yeah. That, that would actually be quite a hard, hard pin to hit, because it's there's so much slope. Maybe coming in with a draw might be better. And that approaches on the green. And a lengthy putt. In the yeah, you can future. see there the the, the, the pin location is really. Yeah, it's quite a difficult pin location. Thirty. It's a break. It's quite a lot of break in this. Uh, maybe just shy of my forty-five foot power mark. Oh, oh when close. it just didn't drop. State, 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 state. Okay. Nearly, nearly drained that there. And for the par. Okay, an interesting par here. Yeah, so I would. Finishing the hole with a solid putt. Ah, that was quite a difficult game. And after that one, staying pretty steady so here. So stay at 11 under par. Place on the leaderboard. Two holes to go. Okay, got moving on to the 17th now. Again, a little bit of elevation change. So we're heading up this part here. Pin is, yeah, probably around this corner by the looks of it. How much can we nibble off this corner? Yeah, not that much really. We don't really need to hit any extra power in this, just let the wind take it. Hopefully we don't run out of fairway. I'm hitting the brakes here. Yeah, that's okay. Maybe I have to look into maybe yeah, shaping that one round the corner a little bit. Below the hole. No, oh, it's a horrible light. Absolutely horrible. Side hill light. What have we got? 20 foot up. 7. 163. Yeah, probably got probably pretty decent. Just need to get the aim here. So that slope's going to take it into the wind a little bit. So I think I'm just going to go slightly to the, the, the right of target. In fact, you know what? Did I really hit that? Or did I maybe. Yeah, let's just hit it. I was thinking of changing it, maybe putting a bit of loft on it. The come, back. come back a little. Yeah, held out pretty much. No, should 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 give us right, but the looks of it's gonna be an uphill putt, but and this is for birdie. Here we go. Ooh. Okay, a decent little putt there. So that just keeped in. Didn't really and it just it almost went in the, the left one. edge. So twelve under part. One hole to play. And as he tees so another par four finish. Quite sad. I thought it may have been a par five finish, but the lead. it's quite a I long par four. Mind. That being said, mm. is this downhill? Oh god, I, we could probably we could probably cut this corner. I mean, worst case scenario, we got a bounce off. Yeah, let's just go for it. Let's put extra sauce on it. Let it rip. It's 
maybe carried over a little bit more to the, the right than I wanted, but we're certainly going to carry that. Oh, easy. And he's got to be happy with that. And about 120, oh, 120 yards out yards. here. Oh, this is in. Oh, this is a, as they say, a, a green light special. Right, 120, five up, so it's only playing maybe roughly close to 122. That's going to bring it down the wind nine. It's going to bring it down to about one, one twelve. Okay, one away. About a D off. Be good. Be good. Get up. Get up. Oh, perfect. Well, that should. That should give us a bird there. And about four feet from the cup. For the bird. Easy peasy lemon squeeze it. Um quite an easy course. I'm not it's it's a course that is scorable. And seeing the scores on the challenge circuit. Uh probably merits the score that I put in. And I, I missed a couple of shots as well. I left a couple of shots out there. Let's check the scorecard. Oh, wow. No bogeys whatsoever. Uh, we did miss... I mean, of that front nine, I think we missed... We missed a birdie chance at the first hole. Um, we did miss another couple of birdie chances. Look at, look at that run in. Seven under par, 29 back nine. That's a 59, 13 under par. If I shoot that on the TGC Tours, I will be well happy. Um, I think we're actually playing off the back tees as well. I don't know if TGC Tours, the challenge circuit, will be the back tees. It might actually be the tees up from that, so... Should be good. Uh, we've got another round to play. I'll probably play that later on today. But really happy with that round. As I say, it does put us on the leaderboard, tied first. So there we go, 13 under par along with the, the Australian guys. Um, pretty happy with that. So that is the Scottsdale Desert Classic. And this is the course for TGC Tours this week. So it does look easy. It does look as if it's really playable. Maybe a chance that we can get a promotion tick, perhaps. Depends how he plays. It's easy saying that, that a course is, is going to be easy to score, but sometimes you do hit you do hit elements where you just really don't seem to be able to, to score. And that, that does happen from time to time. But I'll play the, the second round later today, and that will kind of gauge just how, how we're going to play it. But anyway, hope you enjoyed that, and I'll see you for more videos coming up soon. Take care. Catch you later. Bye. Okay, again, my keyboard's went to sleep. So, <laughs> to pause the video, it's going to take me a little bit of time. Right, anyway, I'm away this time. Bye.